What's up everybody, I'm Lockouts, and in this video, we're just going to do a real simple crash course on weak auras, how I have it set up, where I get all my script from, how I do this, because a lot of people have been asking me. Check this out. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts, providing the content that you see. I'm visually stimulating your mind, one minute at a time. All right, guys, jumping right into this. Uh, this is weak auras right here. This is naturally what it looks like when you guys bring it up that's on your screen. Um, for my natural weak auras, I have a stat screen that's right here. It changes in real time. I also have all these spells and icons that change whether or not I'm playing Havoc or Vengeance, and they change and monitor and light up and glow and do all this special stuff and have bars, and that's all done from weak auras. And also, if I'm tanking or if whatever it is that I'm doing, if I'm assisting, if I'm in Mythic Plus or if I'm in a raid, you can auto-target, prioritize targets by auto-marking auto them. Weak Auras is a script that will auto-prioritize any ad that is throughout the game that is in now in BFA and Mythic Plus Dungeons and Raids. And uh, the script that's in here that I have will let you put icons and spell icons like Little Moons and you know the Diamond and the Skull and prioritize uh, different targets as you are just mousing over them as you're running through the dungeon. And what I do is I go to wago.io, W-A-G dot I-O, and I look for two main people that I've been using forever and ever. And the first guy's uh, code that I always recommend using, no matter what class you're playing, he, these guys write uh, code for all classes classes and uh, this one is luxios l-u-x-t-h-o-s and the uh, other one that i run for my dk and for my demon hunter is afnar's ui a-f-e-n-a-r-u-i i'll have links down below to both of these guys um, big shouts out to them because i've been running their code forever and i really do appreciate it another thing that you guys can get so that you can get your stat screen like this you can find them on uh, the same website wago uh, with movement and all kinds of other different types of stuff that'll pop up and show you different things and different colors and different reactions so when you guys go and get the code uh, from wago.io we'll go ahead and do that right now all right guys and going over here to wago.io this is what the website itself will look like when you guys come over here all right and then you're just going to go in here and type in a-f-e-n-a-r type in afinar when you find afinar you're going to see all of his stuff monk warlock druid shaman mage paladin warrior hunter he's got uis for everything um this is my dk one that i run right here and then this is my demon hunter one that i want to run right here when you bring it up it's going to show you all the spells and everything that he has it's in the little pack you're going to go ahead and copy it right here click this button it'll automatically copy it after you copy it you're going to go to the little import thing that's right here that's on your screen click import and then you're going to hit control and v that's on your um, keyboard when you hit control and V it's gonna put that line of code you just copied into this box it's going to bring up all of these spells right here and you're going to click import as copy when you click import as copy it's going to load up all the spells and the spells and icons are going to look like this and it's just gonna be in a standard place that's in your screen normally okay and when I go ahead and click on it now it, this is normally where it'll pop up and you can move it around like this just drag it wherever you want okay and I have it set right here into the middle of my screen now the way that I build my UI guys is I set this up up first and then I move my my target frame and then my players frame with a, another add-on and I set that up around my weak aura so that my weak aura is right in the middle of my screen and that's gonna be the focal point because if you have everything consolidated into the middle of your screen with weak aura scripting you don't have to have your eye get pulled all the way down to the bottom of your screen or way up here or way over here as you're looking for different cooldown markers having everything getting uh, in a smaller area for your eye to have less travel means that you'll find it uh, sooner and you'll react to spells quicker. That's why using weak auras is a huge priority to me when I'm building my UI. All right, guys, and if you're a tank and uh, you definitely want to go ahead and uh, get this script right here from weak auras. It's going to auto mark targets if you're writing in mythic plus uh, it, Whatever you mouse over your target it will go ahead and throw a spell priority over top of them It is definitely something that's super easy So if you're running around with people and they are marking targets super fast You're wondering how they do it. It's with a weak aura script and all you got to do from the same website is just go up here and type in 
auto marker and you'll get a bunch of different scripts that are pop up right here there's universal all them auto markers this one's for the eternal palace and um dungeons this one is and you'll go ahead and click it right here and this is for automatically marking boss nameplate raid units and all that other stuff it'll go ahead and throw different things that are uh, uh different icons and prioritize them in different ways and when you get the add-on again you're just going to click it you're going to copy it and paste it there's a battleground auto marker in here so that as you're playing in battlegrounds this will auto mark targets as you mouse over them that's in a battleground so if you want healers to pop up this will mark, mark them in battlegrounds there's all kinds of different auto markers especially for mythic plus this is something that you want if you're a tank again just go into wago and find the auto script that you want and it'll auto mark targets for different priorities whether or not it's mythic plus it's rating or if it's pvp definitely um, look into it and by getting that script right there once you get it again you're just going to go ahead and go back to where it says new aura up here click import copy it paste it into the script when you get it it's automatically loaded you guys don't have to do anything but just go and raid now you can open up the script right here and there is a way for you to open it up and then you can go into each one of the spells individually right here for the animations it's got custom options custom triggers so that you can auto target and auto mark like the gilded priestess so if you didn't want them to be targeted you can target it right here so select the mobs that you want to get get targeted all right like augers gilded priestesses juggernauts so if you're in like a top if you're in freehold if you're in king's rest it'll have every single ad that's in there so whatever ones that you think that it is it's priority for you you just go ahead and click these boxes and it'll auto mark them as you're moving through the dungeons it'll move auto mark them for you as you're setting it up for pvp if you're using it for battlegrounds and it'll do the same thing for you if you're setting it up for eight it just depends on whatever automatic unit marker that you're getting so there's different ways that you could set up different triggers and conditions and loads and actions again go to wago.io uh, search for fnr's ui or lux theos those are two guys that i definitely recommend links are down below all right guys uh so this has just been a crash course real quick on week ors again this if this has helped any of you uh, guys out uh, definitely like follow subscribe click all the little buttons is down below help a fella out I do this multiple times a week, so definitely subscribe to the channel. We've just broke 2,000 subscribers. 10,000 is our next major milestone, and the way that it looks right now, I don't think it's going to take us too long to hit that, as long as all you guys click the little button right there. I'm Lockhouse, baby. Peace. Take your mouse and click the button, won't you subscribe to me? Lockouts providing the content that you see. I'm bitching to stimulating your mind, one minute at a time.